Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with part four of the world's most neglected Subaru Impreza STI restoration and today we're going to be restoring the headlights. I'll be doing it the old fashioned way and we'll be using 2500 grit wet and dry sandpaper followed with a two stage machine polish and ceramic coating application to restore their finish and to keep them crystal clear for five years. The first step is to mask off all surrounding paintwork quite simply because we don't want any of those painted edges from either being burnt from the machine polisher or caught with the sandpaper. By masking off the surrounding paintwork will quite simply mean that when we do begin the headlight restoration, the headlights will be the only thing that we'll need to worry about. Here's some before footage which should give you an idea of what I'm working with, but when this headlight is done, I'll compare it against the other one as the difference, believe me, is quite remarkable. So, with the taping off taken care of, saturate the headlight with water, also known as H2O, to lubricate the surface ready for wet sanding. Drench the sandpaper with your water-filled spray bottle and begin to abrade away at the headlight surface. I did try one of those Meguiar sanding blocks, but I quickly realised that by doing it by hand, I was better able to work with the curvature of the headlights, i.e. without the sanding block, as when I used the sanding block, there was far too much uneven pressure being applied to a smaller surface, quite simply because the headlights are curved and not flat. When working the sandpaper in the palm of my hand, I was perfectly able to work with the curvature to evenly sand the headlights. I continually dose the headlights with water to keep them saturated and also apply water to the wet and dry paper to essentially keep the sandpaper clean. The headlights were slightly oxidised but more so they had a yellowy and greeny film covering the surface, which when the water dripped down the headlights and over the car, you could see that the green and yellow film was being removed. The headlights did take a bit of wet sanding to remove all of that gunky film, but when each area received enough attention, the headlights were already starting to look incredibly clear. I spent around 15 minutes wet sanding each headlight in the end, which made quite a remarkable difference. Sometimes with these YouTube videos, they just don't do the work involved, condition of vehicles or finish achieved enough justice. So with the headlight fully wet sanded, I'll take a couple of microfiber towels and dry the areas and to also clean them up from the small particles that were once covering and bonded to the surface. As you can see, the headlights are far clearer but still rather hazy and dull which is simply down to the fact that they've been wet sanded. The next stage is to polish them up. I'll use a FlexiPads microfiber cutting disc on the Rupes Mini Bigfoot and apply four 5P blobs of the Rupes Green Cutting Compound. I'll initially spread the compound over the surface of the headlight and begin to work in on speed setting 3, followed with thoroughly working the compound on speed setting 6. You need to be careful that you don't build up excessive heat on any area of the headlight and you also need to monitor how close your backing plate is coming to the edges of the taped off areas of paintwork. Even if they are taped off, doesn't mean that we can forget about them, but the tape does make for a decent protective barrier for the surrounding paintwork. I'm sure it goes without saying that simply the longer you spend doing each stage to the wet sanding stage and compounding stage will mean the better finish that you should achieve. Wet sanding headlights will leave haziness, marring and sanding marks, but when the compounding stage is completed with nothing but thoroughness, care and attention, the headlights will look so much better.
The second machine polishing stage, known as the refining stage, is going to take out any final haziness or marring which was caused by the cutting stage, and to restore the headlights back to pristine condition. I'm using a Rupes Yellow Fine Finishing Pad and the Rupes Yellow Fine Finishing Polish and I'll spread the polish out on speed setting 3, followed with thoroughly working the polish on speed setting 6. Like all stages and detailing, take your time and don't rush as the finished result will be far better for doing so. I quite like the final refinement stage as you really start to see the crystal clear and sharp finish on the headlights. This is one of those stages that are all going to count towards that final end result, which when considering how long it takes should be breathtaking. When the polishing stage is complete, take a microfiber towel and buff the headlights for a super shiny and reflective finish. Remove the tape from the surrounding painted areas and wipe all nearby surfaces down to remove any water, compound dust, polish dust or product splatter and then stand back to admire your hard work. Quite a difference before and after but I'm not sure if the work involved or finish achieved has been given enough justice in this episode. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. The owner of the Subaru Impreza STI import should now be able to see better in the dark and whilst driving in bad weather conditions and obviously he now has pristine looking headlights which when the rest of the car is finished will all look superb. The headlights were later ceramic coated with G-Technic Crystal Serum Light and XOV4 for 5 years of the best protection available. In part 5 of the world's most neglected Subaru Impreza SDI restoration, we still have a few final things left to do which include ceramic coating the windows and wheels, an interior detail, exhaust polishing and then things like the final finishing touches. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss lots of future content. As always thank you for watching and please drop the video a like as it really helps to support the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.